Hey everyone, Rick here, and I am continuing my unboxing, my unboxing blitz of Games Workshop products. Now, this is Warhammer 40,000. What? I, this may be the first official. No, that's a lie. I picked up Lost Patrol, so um, that could potentially be the first 40,000 game I've gotten, but I decided to pick up Kill Team. I'm not interested in getting into the full-fledged world of 40k, but I love these individual box sets that Games Workshop put out. Uh, and this is uh, one of their latest ones, Kill Team. I don't know if there have uh, there may have been other previous incarnations of this. This one though comes with some Space Marines and some Tau, which I've always kind of liked Tau. And of course, the Space Marines give you that nice generic uh, kind of feel. So I really enjoyed the choice of factions in this, and of course the black armor on those Space Marines just looks so cool. So anyway, what do you get in the Kill Team box? This is a self-contained game, like I mentioned, so you are going to get both factions, just a couple squads for each, so there's going to be rules in here specifically to play Kill Team mode, which is just basically a lighter, maybe a faster, quicker version of 40K. But one of the nice things in this is you do get a miniature digest size pocketbook that contains the entire Warhammer 40K rules. So if you do want to get into it, as I'm sure Games Workshop really wants you to do, you have the full rules here. So you can almost use this to start out with these factions, and then if you like what you see, you can add on to them, and then you've already got the full rules for 40K in this nice travel size rules companion. What else you got in here? This is the Tau Empires pamphlet. So this is going to help you assemble it. Tells you the tools you need and where all the pieces go. And good lord, if you're not familiar with Games Workshop games and miniatures, it is part city. You better have some patience and you better enjoy putting together figures. This is not your typical uh, cool mini or not Kickstarter game that the figures just come right out of the box, which is what I love. So we will see if I end up doing this myself or perhaps looking uh, at someone else to potentially aid me in that. But this is the Kill Team rule book. So apart from the full 40k rules, here's the rules for the Kill Teams. This is going to go over everything you need to know just to play this smaller Kill Team version. Looks like there's a lot of different missions in here too. So that's cool. I didn't even realize there would be scenarios in here. I thought it might just be, you know, kill the other team. But with scenarios, it gives you a lot of replay value. Now, on to the miniatures. I have to be honest. I'm looking at this first sprue and I'm kind of shaking. Look at all of these pieces. Look at these little itty bitty tiny pieces. I do have some sprue cutters, but good gracious. Now, one thing that is fantastic. Obviously, I don't, probably don't even need to say it, Games Workshop figures are among, if not the best, the most detailed figures in miniature gaming. And one of the great things about this, putting them together yourself, is there's a lot of different options. There's options for posability, even magnetization, if that was something you wanted to do, to be able to swap out parts. Here is a smaller sprue, but it looks like a lot of Space Marine stuff here. A lot of lower halves on this sprue. Here is another sprue. There are some bigger things on this one, maybe some more Tau pieces. And they are numbered. I don't know if you can even see that on there. 
I don't know how well it's focusing up that close. But there are some numbers next to the parts so that when you follow those instructions, thank goodness that they've provided, you can follow the numbers. Now, one thing I've always heard is do not clip yourself silly. Do not clip out the whole sprue at once. That would just be uh, dangerous and very overwhelming. Plus, then you would separate the parts from their numbers and you wouldn't know where anything goes. Unless you're super experienced, someone can probably just look at that and uh, that may be a little like this. Like, what in the world does that go to? Um, someone can probably tell you right off the bat. Looks like a lot of those kind of backpacky things. But yes, <laughs> backpacky things. They would appreciate that terminology. Then you have some of these clear bases for some of the flying things, you know, the Tau drones and whatnot. Nice. Because at the end here, we're coming to the bases. So there's some of those sticks that'll give the impression of something in midair. Here is the, f the largest base. And then you have a pack of slightly smaller bases and then a pack of much smaller bases. And last but not least, looks like decals. Looks like these are all for Tau. Tau gets a full sheet of decals. So you got your decals, you got your bases, you got all of your glorious, gorgeous miniatures, you got your rule book, you got your assembly guides, and you got the mother of all rule books. All in this beautiful package, this is Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. If you, if you enjoy sci-fi miniatures combat, but you're not sure you want to dive into the entire 40K game, this is probably not a bad way to start. And obviously, the eye candy factor in this is tremendous. Good grief. And so, yeah, you are going to essentially get this in the box. One thing I noticed, they do not provide our dice. But I'm sure we all have piles of dice, right? So you can get a couple sets of dice, maybe to match the color scheme you decide to paint these guys. Well, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And until next time.